Well, welcome to the uh, ICDC project here at, at uh, CSIDC and Outlook. Um, what we're looking at today is the ADOPT project that uh, uh, grows corn and faba beans together in the same field by a process called intercropping. Theoretically, uh, the faba bean benefits the corn by fixing the N that the corn needs to produce high yields. Corn is a very high yielding forage. It produces upwards of 20 to 20 plus tons per acre. But the weakness of corn in our cropping system is that it's a low protein feed. It, it does not uh, provide the protein that our cattle need to, to uh, have maximum growth rates. And so the thought is by growing a faba bean, one of the highest fixing nitrogen annual crops together with corn, that we can provide some extra nitrogen to the corn and um, increase the uh, protein content of the silage that's produced from the field. What we're trying to do here is grow, grow the corn and the faba bean together and uh, one of the concerns we had is that the faba bean would not uh, be able to uh, uh, compete in the corn and, and the corn would, would uh, be stunted too much by the competition from the faba bean. So we're, uh, what we're doing is trying to figure out uh, what kind of yields we can obtain with intercropped uh, silage, corn, and faba bean at Outlook. There are papers from uh, Europe that uh, show uh, the benefit of the benefit and costs of growing corn and faba bean together, and we're just trying to identify what that is for Saskatchewan conditions and whether we lose too much in productivity by growing faba bean with the corn and, it's, and though it costs, whether it be cheaper to supplement the silage with uh, protein supplements rather than growing them together. On this treatment here, we have uh, no nitrogen and you can see the pale nature of the corn and um, you can also see the treatment just down the road here where the corn is stunted a little bit from the no nitrogen applied. So, so uh, what we're trying to do is, is demonstrate the benefit of the nitrogen fixation from the fabric for the corn. There's, there's uh, four rates here, uh, zero, or I should say, yeah, five rates, zero, uh, 40, 80, 120, and 160 M. And that is what we're seeing here. The variable height is, uh, is the imp impact of the various nitrogen rates on the corn. You're going to stay tuned as we dis uh, discover the data from this project as we get closer to harvest. The uh, corn will be producing cobs uh, and uh, be ready to silage somewhere around the middle of September. The results will be posted on the ICDC annual report as well as uh, on the ICDC website. Uh, we want to thank the support of the ADOPT funding agency for uh, providing the funds to conduct this study.